So FMP 2.0, what do I want to do for it? I definitely want to make a documentary, but it's definitely set in stone now. But to begin with, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. I knew that I wanted to do something along the lines of either urban exploration, or I wanted to continue with my theme that's been throughout the entire course so far, and that's mental health. After thinking about it though, and thinking about the different ways I could spin it, I decided that I wanted to go for the effects of mental health and using urban exploration as a way, or a tool so to say, as or a release and a coping mechanism. The reason I wanted to do a documentary is because I wanted to learn more about the whole editing techniques of making a documentary because there's a whole different style that I've not explored ever and so that would be a really cool way to do it using the FMP. It would give me a lot of time to practice it. It's also a whole new skill base that I'll have underneath me going forward as well as I'm not very good with a camera at the moment. I haven't been. A lot of my older work, you can see it. It's all very grainy, very out of focus. This probably is too. Doing a documentary is going to be good for this FMP is because it gives me a chance to learn a lot of cinematography. It gives me a chance to use visual effects to portray what the people are talking about in interviews. It gives me a chance to learn how to shoot and light interviews. It's just got everything that I want to learn I can put into this one and it just mashes really well. I want to learn how to make b-roll and being in an urban environment it gives me a chance to get b-roll like this. <laughs> And that's from an urban explorer slash filmmaker slash photographer slash everything guy called Harry Gallagher, otherwise known as Nightscape. So in terms of research, there's a lot of different ways I'm going to be doing research. There's a book that I've got that I will be reading called Making Documentary and Real Life Films. Emailing lots of documentarian... is that a word? Documentarians? People that make documentaries or edit them or film them, all of them. Ask them some questions, ask them some advice, see how they would go about doing this, especially considering in terms of documentary, 13 weeks is not a very long time. I'm also going to have to do a lot of research into the topic that I've chosen, so a lot of research on mental health, a lot of research on urban exploration, and there's many different ways I'm going to be doing that. Another thing with doing a documentary is that a lot of my research is going to come from the production stage, a lot of it's going to come from the whole journey. The whole creative journey that I'm going on filming this is going to teach me a lot. I'll learn things along the way. A lot of the research is going to come from the interviews that I'm doing of people that are going to be in the documentary. In terms of documenting the process, I'm going to be filming a lot of vlogs like this, talking about it. Also, weekly updates on my Tumblr posts, as well as I'm going to be making behind the scenes for all the production stage. There's going to be pretty much vlogged the entire way. When it gets into post-production, everything's going to be screen recorded. There's going to be breakdowns of how I do each bit. It just is going to be very heavily documented. And there's going to be a lot there. And then there'll be the final piece that will hopefully be really, really good.